Hey, what up, the world? Earlier today, I told y'all I'm going to share my struggles with y'all and my pain. Okay, what it is, is my struggle and pain is, these are the JBL SRX, not the PRX. They're the SRX. And these speakers are not meant for a mediocre entry level or beginner DJ. Which basically is me. I've been doing it for years, but I'm not a professional. Everybody know that. My claim to fame is I'm just a brother with some loud ass motherfucking sounds. Okay. Now, it tell you, if you're a beginner DJ, mediocre, don't buy these. You don't need them. 1500 bucks a piece. I got two of them. Um, you know, I got some clubs. Should this here will bang uh, 500 to 1500 people easy. Just two speakers. You don't need no subwoofers or nothing. Now, I got some more club series. Those are club series. My PVs, RBNs. Then I got the Behringer 3000 watts. Those are club series. I can bang club them. But my uh, Mackies, Thumps, 15s, 1300 watts each. I got four up here. And I got four more in the basement. You know? So I can rock any party in the world with these. But I have to have four of them. You know? Or six or eight. It'll shut down anything. But with these JBL SRX series, just two of these will do the same thing eight of them that would do. Yes, serious. And they got hard hitting bass. They not for me, because I'm not a professional. I'm not doing clubs with 1,500 people in them. But I wanted them. I had to have them. I got them. I'm going to start back DJing, but I had to get them. I want them. These speakers here, you don't need no freaking subwoofer with them. They are so hard hidden with the bass. They had a, a PRX series. Uh, that was the first one, so whatever. These are the newest ones. The SRX series with the DSP, okay? Um, they badass. You know, believe me, look on a YouTube video, DJ Rick Webb. He got some and he couldn't. And uh, DJ Bars, they went and got them and they professional DJs. I mean, they do you know, 2,000 people, parties, and stuff like that, so, um, me, a brother with some banging ass sound, I'm not supposed to have these, because I don't do them type of parties, but I had to have them, I don't care what you say, it is what it is, so, I put on Facebook last night, yesterday, that I'm going to share with y'all my struggles and my pains, this is my struggle and my pain, I got to have the top of the line, shit, I'm sorry, that's just who I am, how I am, that's, that's, that's just what I was taught, so I got them. They're here. The JBL SRX 815 series. Badass. Badass. Yeah, they cost a bread. They are expensive as hell, but you will not find another speaker like this that has the sound quality of the power. They also have crown amps in them. They're, they're active speakers, which means that they have a built in amplifier. Now I have a set in the basement called Turbo Sound IQ 15s. They're badass too. They basically can do what these do, but these are better. The JBL, the uh, Turbo Sound IQ 15s are 2,500 watts, and uh, these are only 2,000 watts. Okay, my uh, PV RBN 118s, they're 2,000 watts. My Behringer uh, with the Clark Technique Turbo Sound woofers, they're 3,000 watts. So. This system here will rock 500, 1500, 2000 people easy. These four subs, these two JBLs, and my two turbo sounds in the basement. I can rock any size freaking plan. Outdoors, these JBLs are made for outdoors. They will travel, they will carry the bass hit hard, I'm telling you. But anyway, that's my struggle, y'all. And I told y'all I'm, I'm going to start back DJing. I want to start back. Um, I used to charge $100 an hour when I used to DJ. And I probably still will. Um, I stopped because I got tired of hearing loud music and I just opened up a company where we rent out systems to people and you know it's pretty cool but I want to get back to DJing I have all the equipment I got the stuff I got the music got the laptops got the software I got all that I have all that so I want to get back in it so when I do get out there you know they gonna say hey they might say that motherfucker can't DJ but he got some banging ass shit <laughs> and that was my motto you heard me um, these here from a food truck, y'all. These are my Yamaha. These are some badasses too, now. These are for the food truck. They're going outside on the food truck. They are waterproof.
um, outdoor speakers, and they are Yamaha. Everybody know about quality, you know about Yamaha. Yamaha, JBL, top of the line shit. So, that's what's up, y'all. Those are my struggles. My wife called me slow last night, and I had to agree with her. She's like, babe, you got more damn music than you know to do with it. Now, a couple weeks ago, I sold a set of my uh, Mackie's, the second generation. Gen gen I sold a set of my Mackie second generations. They're only 1,000 watts apiece. And I also sold him uh, basically my brand new Behringer subwoofers. They were only 500 watts apiece. They was okay. They were not number, just something you kick around in. Um, fortunately, I sold it to the guy for $600 more than what I paid for the whole set. How I do that, that's what hustlers do. Um, I didn't hustle him because he knew what he was getting. He's some kind of music director in the Dearborn School. And just getting them for the kids and stuff. His uh, Eric brother, uh, uh, Eric Chaldean guy, pulled up in my house in a big ass, in a long ass Cadillac truck sitting on 24s, 26s. What color is that Cadillac truck? Cream white or something? It was like a cream. A cream white sitting on 26s. He had long dollars. He pulled out all brand new $100 bills. Uh, anyway, um, I sold them to him. He called me. He loved them. So I'm going to sell him a set of these now. These are the third generation Mackies here. And I'm going to sell them a set of them now because I got to, you know, I'm going to get rid of some of them. Like I say, with these new JBLs, man, I don't need shit else. I can take these two JBLs. I can't wait to go to the tailgate with my boy Rock and Renetta. Oh, my God. We're going to kill them with these JBLs. And them turbo sounds. It's about to be on and crazy, y'all. But, all right. No more living room. That's not junk. That's all everything going to my food trader. This is a custom-made cutting board. I had custom-made to go on top of my refrigerator and freezer. Um, this is a rack that you store your stuff on aluminum that is a deep fryer thing where you can um you gotta have that between your deep fryer and your fire on your stove so that's how that go those are our ring security cameras they are the shiznicks skimmers to get the jump out the grease um the lights go on the side of the trailer for outside and that's it all right well peace out you guys god bless remember to let nobody in life tell you what you can't do in life there's no such thing as what you cannot do I don't care who you are, what you have, what you don't have. Follow your dreams. Stick to your goals. And the sky is not the limit. People say the sky is the limit. No, it's not. You can go higher than the sky. Okay? It's called heaven. You can go higher than the sky. You go to heaven. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do, world. Okay? Keep pushing forward. I don't care what nobody's saying. Remember, I don't have a damn job. <laughs> Peace out. God bless.